Hey guys, it says I'm live. So, I guess I am. I thought I would do a quick little jewelry jar unjarring. Unbagging, it's actually a bag. Um, because I am at home alone for now. My relatives are still visiting here from still there. I don't know what's going on with my telephone. I actually put it on do not disturb and it still rang. I don't know what's going on. But I'm glad you're here, so we're going to do a quick gun jarring video. And I um, I want to do the ones from, well, I'm not going to do both. I'm going to do one of the ones from Chicago. I think I'm going to do the bigger one. This one right here. Okay. And, oh, my goodness. All right, now I'm plugged in. Let me know if anything happens to the stream while we're on so I can cut it short. I do have some people coming for my internet again on, fr is it Friday? The 30th. So sometime next week, they're gonna replace my modem after arguing with me about it, after having three trips over here. Now again, this is my internet up uploading problem because everything else is fine. I get movies, I get everything fine. But he was saying something about moving the modem closer to me and then that it would be, you know, probably sharper, better stream if it was closer to me. I don't know. Yeah, guys, hit the thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door. There's 24 people watching. We're going to get done with this bag pretty quickly. Look, it's already torn. I hope I didn't lose anything. <laughs> this is the one I picked up from Chicago. And it was $9.59, really cheap there. I did find some yesterday, or no, Wednesday. I went to Goodwill and found two more bags because I do want to do a virgin jar untouched. Again, it's a phrase that I coined on MSP auction last year. It means a jar that no one has curated except the Goodwill or the thrift store themselves. So it's not going to be put together by me in any way. But this one came from Chicago when I went last... When did I get over there? I was there last weekend. And... Um, what they do is put a lot of the things from the store directly in the bag, which I love. And I love the way they do their bags really loose. So I was able to look through a bunch of them. I did leave a couple behind. I kind of regret it now, even though it was $25. So we're going to get started with that. Guillermo's here. Kimberly, jewelry nurse. Hi, Cindy. Irish witch. Um, is it looking blurry or anything, guys? Jennifer's here. Paula B., Going on Grumpy, Barb, Nora A, Violet, Ida T, and Valerie over etc. Cet, et Emporium, Jennifer as well, and Rainbow Bling. Let me know if it's still going okay, okay? I'll try to keep looking. All right, so wow, these are a lot of tag things. This kind of takes, ooh, look at this. This is pretty. Oh my gosh, I like this one. This is needlepoint or, yeah, I guess it's called cross stitch or needlepoint. That is pretty. Black, it was $3 original. I'm not going to even tell you the prices because it all came in a bag of $10. Awesome, that is nice. Good, good. Okay, we'll keep going then before we lose the picture. But anyway, they will be here Friday the 30th to give me a brand new modem and Supposedly, they won't charge me anything. They were telling me they were going to charge me. They're crazy. That's so why I had to call them back, and I called them and just gave them, a, you know, like a whole new scenario. It just doesn't work, I said. My internet is just lousy. I didn't go into the whole live streaming thing because they have record of everything I've said, and they're just giving me a hard time. Okay, these are all clocks. These are super cute. Very stunning paint. Uh, what's it called? Steampunk. Steampunk looking. That's the kind of stuff people create with their old watches and stuff. That's why it's kind of a good idea to do a, um, a steampunk lot with all your old watches, especially if they're little old-fashioned looking ones. That was cute. Okay, here's a little initial one. It looks like a B and a C and an L. That's cute. I'll just check and see if there's any marks. Oh, this is a also a pendant. Very nice. Hi, Darlene Buckland. How are you? Vanessa, how are you? A little teddy bear. Uh, Bow Ringer Man Manaheim. Makers of ACCU Czech Band Products. I don't know. It looks like it has a little stone on there, too. That's cute. That's a nice one. All right, this one's empty. It must have fallen. 
And here's a pretty tree. This is a good bag. Gosh, I should have bought the other one. But the other one looked like it had a lot of beads and some of them look broken. And I, like I said, they're kind of loose. Again, this was only $10, nine something. And I didn't see that much metal in there, so that's why I left the other one behind. But this one was great so far. Anyway, guys, so that's what we're doing here. We're unboxing, unjarring. It looks like one little stone is missing right there, though. It might have fallen off in the bag. These are so pretty AB stones on there. Cute. It is marked. Let's see what it says. And um, so, yeah, we're just unjarring. It says PD. PD. The initials PD in block script. So be sure and hit the thumbs up, guys. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. I think you'll like the content here. We do a lot of talk about resale, and we definitely have been enjoying the jewelry market lately. Okay, remember I showed you the teeny tiny one I found the in the other that I bought out of the counter? This is a bigger one, and his his little bow is not red. He's cute. Very heavy enamel. I'm not going to tear it apart right now. That's pretty. Again, these were not individually bought. These were bought out of here. Oh, here's another one. They were bought in a bag, but the one I showed you prior, I had bought from the counter. This one looks very mid-century with those colors. That is pretty. This one's actually kind of cushiony. Yeah, that mouse is so cute. It reminds me of a little Christmas mouse. Little velvet backing back there. It does have the little V on the, what is that called? Cartouche? Is that, am I saying that right? Wow, so you would wear it this way. That's so pretty. Very nice. All right, American flag. I love that. Little pin bag. That's cute. Really cute. Kind of an abstract design there. Thick ceramic. Love my American flags. Oh, here's a nice poinsettia. This looks like a modern one. Hey, Lynn B. and Stone Rider and Julie, how are y'all? Thank you for joining me. And Jennifer, Sherelle Bandy, Brandy. That's very pretty enamel. It's got the stones still intact there. But this is probably a little bit more. It's from Kohl's, $14. Definitely a contemporary piece. Very nice, though. Christmas flower there. And, oh, I got a little A-plus teacher. That's cute. Yeah, guys, be sure and hit that thumbs up. It really helps in the search. It helps grow the channel. I'm getting to a new milestone, and I really want to get there quickly because I have a big uh, giveaway. Of course, I'll have random giveaways as always, but for the 10K, I have that beautiful ring that was gifted to me by one of the companies that it was uh, some lab sapphires and just really, really pretty. So I'm, that's waiting for the 10K giveaway, which I hope to, to get to uh, before the... Before the new year. That's a nice stick pin, guys. Look at that. It's like a fleur-de-lis, I guess. You see that? Turn on another light there. Yeah. Or is it a, a leaf? Yeah, it's a little leaf. That's pretty. Very nice. Gold tone. Yeah. I can see why they just throw things in the bag. I mean, I told you. Oh, look at that. The little cardinal. All dressed for Christmas and winter. Um, she had so much. She actually pulled out a bucket full of brooches and said, just pick out some brooches from there. And then pick out some from the counter. And then we can replace new ones in the counter. We got a fish. Okay. Is that a big mouth salmon or something? I'm not sure. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, so much jewelry. I can't wait to go back. And I'm just going to bug my son to go back in there too and get me some stuff. <laughs> This is pretty. Oh, that's pretty. A little Christmas. Looks like a JJ design for some reason, but it's not. Let's see what it says. It says something back there. It says new, Neutro? Can you guys read that? Neuro? New Pro. I don't know. I've never heard of that. Billy Bass. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This is pretty. It's got like a lady holding a candle and someone next to her in the tree. Hey, Jude, how are you? Little bow. I like it. I've never heard of that brand, though. New bro, new pro, right? Hmm. So, oh, guys, let me show you this 
I think I've showed you this in my very first couple of videos, this um, pendant that's articulated, and I have it listed. I'm going to remove it. I have it listed on Poshmark because I didn't have any eyes in it. I had just enameled them with nail polish because when I bought it, it didn't have the eyes. And then my husband finally hunted for some good harvesting that I have in my little rhinestone harvest. <laughs> he said, I think we finally got some eyes for that pretty eagle. I mean, uh, owl. So he's looking beautiful now. And now I'm going to take new pictures of him and put him back on posh. But isn't that gorgeous? I love when we find, you know, when we finally find the match for them. Because I had been, I think I had painted them red, yeah, with red enamel. But I knew it really needed rhinestones. Oh, who? wow, look at this. This is pretty pink pearls in a basket. Hey, Susan, how are you? Thank you for being here, Susan Bishop. This is awesome. I love that color. Do we see anything on it? And it's also a pendant. Wow. That's interesting, though. You think it could be a pendant when the bale seems to be at the bottom? You'd hang it like that. That would look weird, though. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it does have something there. And it's got little purple rhinestones in between the pearls, too. That is lovely. This is a great bag. Oh, my gosh. $9.59, guys. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to look in the men's accessory bag. We'll do that one tomorrow, hopefully, or Sunday. This is pretty. This is, I don't know what you call this material, but they're usually cracked. <laughs> Every time I find one of these pretty brooches, they have a little chip or something. This one does not seem to have any damage. And look, it's even got a little bud back there. Can you guys see that? I like that a lot. Guys, there's only 14 thumbs up and 50 people watching. So if you guys can just go over there and turn that thumb blue for me. Oh, look at this. A teacher's report card. Caring, friendly, and loving. Well, I try to do that. I'm not always very friendly. <laughs> I have to get a little tough with my kids sometimes because nobody else does, you know? Sometimes they need a lecture. All right, a butterfly. That one's cute. That one's very pretty. This looks a little bit like the Monet. And I turned down a Monet the other day at a thrift store, guys, but only because the line was super long and I was only going to buy this tiny little butterfly from Monet. And it kind of looked like this, but it was smaller. Really, really small. So I didn't buy it after all. This is very pretty. Gold tone. Still very nice and colorful there. Okay. I like that. Here's the red dress. Heart disease in women. Go red. That's pretty. Little cause. Oh, this is cute. This has an angel, and she's reaching for the phone, and it says best friend. Hi, Donna. How are you? That's super cute. It's almost like don't forget to call your best friend. I think we all need to be reminded of that. My best friend called me the other day. I was telling Dawn when she was in a chat that she was a little inebriated. <laughs> Is that how you say it? <laughs> She'd had a few drinks and she was making me laugh. Oh my gosh. But I hadn't talked to her in like 10 years. You know, she like disappears off the face of the planet sometimes, but we just never forget about each other. Hugs and kisses. That's cute. Little bear. It's got a little bear paw back there. Okay, and another teacher pin, ABC, cute. Here's a little swirl brooch. Let's see if there's any mark on it. That's an interesting mark back there. I don't know what that is, though. It looks like a stone almost. Chicago was fabulous. I enjoyed it very much. We went to the Chris Kindle Market. And they had the best food. I had some lentil soup. I had some stuffed pretzels. I had the best hot chocolate I've ever had in my life. We had some of that glue. I think they call it glue vine or glue wine. So it's hot wine. Oh, my gosh. It was amazing. It was super crowded and really cold and just fabulous, really. I've never been to a Kris Kringle market. I've been to the Nutcracker market we have here in Houston. But this one was very, very nice, and they had amazing things. If I didn't have to pack everything, 
I would have bought a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments and woolies and just beautiful things. Here's a really pretty Red Hat Society uh, pin, which I don't use myself, but this is a pretty one. Someone might want that one. Because I know some of these ladies are really into it. I've seen them at lunches and stuff. And they come dressed to the nines with their red and purple hats. That's pretty. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Barbara Caruso is here. Heather the reseller. Don Aguilar. Thanks, guys, for being here. This is cute. A little bear. Maybe it's for the bears. <laughs> All of this came from Chicago, guys. So I often find... Things from their sports teams. I also find quite a few Catholic icons and things like that, rosaries and uh, things like that. Very different from Houston bags. Houston, I get a lot of ethnic, um, kind of Pakistani, Indian, lots of things like that. And so it's really interesting to see the different things from different cities. Here's a beautiful pin. It's an apple, a stick pin. That's a pretty one. Nice and heavy, too. Looks like it may have something written back there. Let me take a quick look. Okay, nope. Nope, It's I'm always fooled by all those ridges back there. Nothing yet on that. Hey, CC Collections, how are you? Shell Brandy? Yes, I think it's a great bag. Here's a little angel teacher brooch. Very cute. Resin there. Okay. And here's another one. This one's cute. This looks like a JJ brooch. And it's got the school bell, a pencil, an apple. It's a pin bat. I don't know if JJ makes those kind. Oh, no, this is not JJ. But it does look like pewter as well. It says L -O -D LCD. It's either LOD or LCD. Hey, Julie, how are you? Thank you for being here all the way from the UK. What time is it in the UK? Hey, Mike, how are you? The Crazy Card's in the house, guys. Go subscribe to him. He's got a great channel. Reseller extraordinaire there, I'm telling you. You want to learn something about reselling, go watch his channel. Because he finds obscure things that no one sees the value in, but once you see his video, you'll see why. Yeah, this is a cute brooch. I love it. And I love watching videos that teach, and that's what his video does. <clears throat> sometimes we just want to have fun though you'll hear me rant here you'll hear me rant because you guys are the only ones that will listen to me my kids would just be like they'll take the other person's side whenever I have anything to complain about they're like well really but why did it happen da, 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 da. oh my goodness so I'd rather talk to you guys this is cute gold tone pearl in the middle it looks a little bit uh, mid-century to me maybe very cute very cute and then here's that. Oh, in Christmas. Look at that. Well, how do you say this word again? K K I never say it right, but it starts with a K. And look, he's, in, he's dressed to the nines for Christmas. Enamel. Wood enamel, I believe. No, it's like a plastic. It's like a lucite. Yes, we do need to rant sometimes, you know. I really do. And, you know, nobody else will listen to me. Nobody will take my side. Except my best friend, who calls it every once in a while. <laughs> and she changes numbers way too often for me to keep up with her. And then you guys. This is super cool. I love this in Christmas motif. That is awesome. That is great. All right. Oh, an American flag. Yes, in rhinestones, nonetheless. Love that. That is awesome. Yeah, Coco Pelli. There it is. Oh, this is nice. This looks vintage to me. It doesn't have the maker or anything on it. It just says, God bless America. It does have a little wave to it. A little bit of dimension there. So that's a nice one. I love it. That will go with my collection. That is really pretty. Okay. Hey, Kathy Valentine, how are you? Okay, here's a little brooch as well. It looks like metal, but I think it's actually some kind of an acrylic. It's pretty, though. It looks vintage. The design, anyway. Let me grab a drink of water real quick, guys. Hmm. 
Okay. Here's a empty tag. I guess some of the stuff fell off of them, but we'll find them here. Another circle pin. Gold. Hi, Shanna. How are you? I'm glad you're here. All right. Just kind of... Um, Kind of that bead work, milgrain, I think it's called, around it, and then a black stone there. So that's cool. Hug me. I think he's broken. No, he's articulated. Oh, there he goes. Cute. Cute little bear there. He looks like he's in a little hoodie of sorts. That's cool. I'm getting a lot of things ready for my auction that I do uh, that I will do on MSP auctions. I do not have sales or auctions on my channel. Um, hold on just a minute. I don't know why this thing is saying that it has low battery when I'm plugged in. So it's crazy. Okay. I don't know. It keeps popping up low battery. But I'm plugged in, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. Anyway, um, and I, I'm going to have some Mickey Mouse things that I just, this reminded me of it because it has a heart. I have a little Minnie Mouse heart or something that lights up and that reminded me of it. But I am going to get some, a virgin jar for you guys and uh, some open face jars, which means I'm going to show you everything that's in there. And some lots. I'll do some mid-century lots with brooches and jewelry. I don't know what this is, but it's quite interesting. And um, so I think you'll enjoy. Be sure and join me. That's going to be next Saturday, the 1st. Now, tomorrow, Sandy's going to be on there, Sandy Wassman, who has been working very, very hard, and I'm glad she finally took a break, on her designs. She is a jewelry designer, silversmith, and she's been making amazing pieces. You will see her tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central, the MSP Auction Show, and I've put links on those before in my videos. I'm going to start putting them. I'll probably put it on this one so you can start checking it out because she's going to be there tomorrow and I will be there on the first. I will have an array of things, everything from mid-century decor to Harley Davidson to jewelry, of course. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Thank you for joining me. How are you, sweetie? I hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, I don't know what this brooch is. It's very well made, very heavy. It looks, okay, here it is. I had it upside down. There we go. It's got a crown. It's got some kind of a bird looking to the side there. It's got some of this um, leafing here, I guess it's called. I'm not sure. In enamel. Very, very regal looking, whatever it is. It's kind of cool. And red enamel, white cream enamel. Good. I hope your Thanksgiving was wonderful as well, Tanya. Thank you. All right. Oh, look at this. This is a cute one. I love the lions with the crown. Real, oh, I can't wait to dig into that other bag I got that looked like it had nothing but men's accessories. Now that I see some of the cool stuff they threw in this bag. This is a tie bar. Very nice. And it is interesting that it has this blackened area here. And it's not shiny on the black. Then it's got a, a crown that looks like it's more of a bronzy color. And then the one, the stuff that's protruding is kind of gold tone. I think that's awesome. I love the regal lion. Always have. I know you do too, Tanya, right? Tanya, you're not a Leo, are you? I'm a Leo. I think that's why I love lions so much and everything. But I just, I always have, there's quite a few animals that I love too, though. <laughs> the elephants and the tigers get me every time as well. This is a pretty, pretty Christmas brooch. It's all bows, and it has like baby blue rhinestones on it. You are, Susan? You're a Gemini. My sister's a Gemini. That's why I like you so much, Miss Tanya. My sister's a Gemini, and she's my favorite person in the whole world. Next to my children, of course. <laughs> yeah, and my son's a Gemini, too. Oh my goodness, this is really pretty. It is signed. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says here. Avon. Oh my goodness. Just Avon all by itself. Very nice brooch. 
I like that Christmas birch. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the Grinch, right? No, no, no. This is not the Grinch. Who is this? Oh, it's a little bookworm and an apple. Or a worm and an apple. Another teacher brooch. This one says 1994 in the back. Hot or H-O-I or H-O-L. I can't tell. That's a nice one. Really cute. That's a little graduate. That's cute. Maybe I'll give that to one of my eighth graders when they graduate. They have a big ceremony for our eighth graders. It's middle school. Okay. Another circle brooch. I don't see missing rhinestones yet. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute. Yeah, my husband's a Taurus the bull. I don't know how we managed to stay married for so long because he's pretty headstrong too. <laughs> oh gosh. That's cute. Silver tone. But I guess Leos and bulls can get along if they want to, right? Hmm. Thirty-one thumbs up, guys. I need about forty people to go over there and hit that thumbs up. I know I got more likers than haters, so turn that little blue, turn that little thumb blue for me. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, this is a cute little bear. Look, he's even got some little dimension there. Oh my gosh. And it's signed Jackie ninety nine, and it's Jackie, kind of or Jackie written kind of a French spelling, I think. That's cute. I love that. My daughter saw my other video with my granddaughter. And she did a little stuff. And I already took the fan. And what else does she take? The little scary hands. It's like, oh my goodness. She always grabs my stuff. This is cute. This is really cute. Child care. Is that what it says? Child care aware. Oh, another cause. That's pretty. X's and O's on the hearts, and they're kind of one on top of the other there. That's really pretty. <laughs> you want the whole bag, right? I want to go back. I'm going to tell him in a minute. Please go by there. <laughs> See, the thing is, now he's got a second child. He's a little six-month-old, and they're pretty busy. <laughs> but last time he did send me four bags or so. So, and I told him already, I want bags for Christmas because <laughs> he's always asking me, so what's your Christmas list? It's, you know, usually nothing big. Coffee, good coffee. I always love good coffee and good mugs and the travel mugs. I said, this year, I want jewelry bags. <laughs> so start hunting. This is pretty. This is a very pretty little petite brooch. How cute is that? Little blue flower. And it's silver tone. It's very heavy. That's kind of cute. Very cute. Here's an interesting one. Golf stuff sells, guys. People love their golf, especially in different things, like not just your typical mug, but sweaters or things like that. I've sold things like ladies' sweaters with the golf motifs on them. They've done well. This is pretty. This is very well made. And those are some pretty rhinestones down there across the side there. Forgive my nails, guys. They're a mess. I have not done them, and they've been growing on me. I had cut them down, and now they grew. I don't see a mark anywhere. That is really nice. Very heavy. Okay. So far, so good. What is this? It's a little candy brooch. Just in time for Christmas. Somebody got crafty, made brooches. Yeah, it's just glued on <laughs> that's really cute though I like that that would look really cute with just a little turtleneck or something and it's very very lightweight so it wouldn't ruin anything that's super cute let's see if anybody else joined us Shanna thank you for being here I think I said hello to Donna Violet Brown how are you Thanks, guys, so much. I appreciate you hitting that thumbs up, too. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Oh, look at this pretty angel. She's pretty. Sometimes, just when I think I'm done with angel brooches, right? Because we get a lot of them. Then they come out with a really cute one. This one's nice. No marking on it, but it looks like Mother of Pearl. 
It could be imitation mother of pearl. I don't know. And it's got like some crazing or some crackle on it. That's beautiful. And look at those huge ring, those huge wings. And then she's holding, I don't know if it's a ring or a heart or something she's holding. And it's silver tone. That is awesome. Yeah, she's big too. That's beautiful. I like that mixed media there. That's very nice. Then we have this little scribble design, kind of a take on Tiffany's Paloma Picasso design that everybody did back in the 90s. Kind of cute. Yeah, this was a great bag. Mm. I don't know, but then I bought a lot out of the counter too, guys. Here's another cute angel. Very pretty. She's blowing a horn there. Trumpet or something. Oh, that's pretty. No marking on it as well, but very nice. And I do like them in the silver tone. When they use white like that, I love the way white and silver looks. Hi, Fiery. Or is it Fairy Vixen? Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here. I really appreciate it. And Babsy, I don't know if I said hello to you, but thank you for being here. Yeah, that's a nice one. And then she has sort of stars, and it's kind of glittery. The enamel is glitterized as well. That's cool. Have you guys uh, been listing your Christmas jewelry? I haven't. I've been so bad about it. I've been listing everything else, and then I'm thinking, oh, I need to get it listed. I'm going to try to do some today. At least take the pictures. This is pretty. This is really pretty. It's got pink stones, enamel, gold tone. It is, a, it is also a pendant, has a bale up at the top. That's really pretty. And it's interesting how they're set. They're kind of paved. They don't have they don't have any kind of a bezel or any kind of prong setting. They're kind of flush. That's really pretty. And it is um, some open work there. Let me see if that's not a marking there. Is it Paloma? What a beautiful name. I love that name. I love the name Paloma and Pilar. I think they're very pretty. I had a friend named Paz, Peace, in Spanish. It's beautiful as well. All right. Oh, here's a big giant heart. Wow, this is cute. I tell you, I love those oversized brooches. Look at that. Wow, that is pretty. A puffy heart, gold tone brooch. That is nice. That would look great on a blazer. You know, kind of a little whimsical touch to... A severe-looking business-like blazer. That'd be cute. That is awesome. Here's a rhinestone piece with a pearl on it. Also kind of pavé design on there. And this one looks like it came from TJ Maxx. It has the original tag from TJ Maxx. And, um, yeah, so this is a modern brooch, but very nice. Kind of a Tahitian pearl. Very cute. Cute design, also kind of whimsical, and, you know, just a little flower there. That's cool. These brooches were all reasonably priced originally, too, guys. Look, $3, $2. I wish. Some of my Goodwills have really gone high on some of their counter things. I have had to put back their earrings, even the ones that aren't sterling are 4 and $5. So I'm like, well, if it's a choice between not sterling and sterling, I'll just get the sterling ones for that price. Here's another pretty stick pin. This is cute. Mother of Pearl, and it's a palm tree. Very nice. Oh, I'm sorry that you missed it, Lindy. I was just talking in the in Sandy's chat that if you do not respond to a notification, a lot of times you'll say, okay, well, I'm going to finish watching this video, and you don't respond to the notification. Well, if you do that enough times, YouTube stops sending you notifications. It's just like Facebook. If you don't interact with what they're feeding you, they do not feed it to you anymore. Same thing with with. Um, YouTube. So you have to respond to the notification or they stop sending it to you. But I'm so glad that you're getting them. Be sure and hit that bell, guys, and um, that way you do get notifications. Okay, here's another of the heart disease for women uh, awareness button. Another one of these as well. Okay. 
And here's a pretty vintage looking one too. But it looks like it's missing the pearls, which might be as easily fixed. Well, maybe not so easily because it's got quite a few missing. But it's so cute. Maybe it'd be easier if we took some of those out and just started fresh. And I don't see a mark on it, but I do see that it has a a little ring. So it can be a, a bail. Or it is a bail, basically. It can be a pendant. Yeah, we could probably replace those, but they're they're kind of the antique color. That's why I'm saying if I started with fresh pearls, no pun intended, <laughs> with a fresh batch of harvested either stones or pearls, that could be fixed because there's only two on there. The rest are missing, but that is very pretty. And it is um, prong set there. The rhinestone is prong set. That's pretty. Oh, my goodness, the ballerina. I was so happy to see the ballerina charm on that charm bracelet that was in the uh, counter that I showed you guys the other day. Here, it was only $6.56. One of those charms was a ballerina. I love ballerina motifs too. And this entire thing was sterling. This came from the same thrift store in Chicago, but these were from the counter. And all of these are sterling, including the brooch that's also a pendant. So now we got a little oh, cute enamel pin. I'll have to see if my granddaughter can put that on her backpack or something. That is so cute. And she does ballet and loves it. She's been doing it about two years. She's only three. <laughs> but she loves it. And she's always showing her little moves that she learns. That is a pretty pin. All right. Here's another angel brooch. But this one's gold tone. And she's got an articulated bell there. Very pretty. And... It's a working bell. It actually has a little jingle in there. And another fabulous Americana motif here with the American flag that I love to get jewelry in. That's a nice one, too. I like when they make them so well, you know, because these can be easily made out of cheap things. And th this one looks super nice. Really pretty rhinestones. Very bright and brilliant. And it has that wave design, so it really looks dimensional and rich. That was cool. All right, I think that was it. We still have another bag, but I'll do it probably tomorrow. And that's the men's accessory bag, and I can't wait to look in there. I hope I score something really nice in there. And if it's anything like what we just picked up in here from the men's designs, I think it'll be really nice. And then, of course, I have some other bags, and I've been buying these huge bags, guys. Let me show you real quick. It looks like my Goodwill went down a little bit on their prices, too, because I found some of these huge bags for $39, and then I have some for $49, and they feel the same. They feel just as big. And just as heavy. And I think I'm going to have you pick out the one that I give out. Or that I put on auction. I'll show it to you a little bit closer. Because I have like four to choose from. And I, like I said, I want to offer you guys a virgin bag for the MSP auction. I do not want to put one together. I want you to have the same surprise, the same fun, the same uh, stress level. <laughs> I'll be stressed when I send it out. Hey, Cindy, thank you so much for being here. Cindy, oh my gosh, guys, let me just talk to Cindy real quick. I got that bag from um, from Mike over at Rolling Picker, who was kind enough to buy it when we were both bidding on it. He bought it and sent it to me. And I have not looked inside where you sent, put some extra goodies. Miss Cindy, thank you so much. But I'm going to, I'm going to do a video on it. But I just wanted to tell you guys that Miss Cindy auctions off the most wonderful items I, I was floored by the quality of that purse. I just want to put it in a box and look at it in a, gla in a glass box. It is so beautiful, Cindy. It is in perfect condition. It stands up beautifully. I was just floored. It's so cute beyond my expectations. So if you guys uh, don't follow Cindy over there at Cindy Loves Jewelry, please be sure and do it. She does have auctions every other week or so and quality merchandise is all you will see there. So guys, I'm going to let you go. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and holiday. We'll see each other tomorrow at Sandy's Auction, and I hope you guys join me on December 1st, okay? I will be in MSP Auction December 1st. I'll have a bunch of cute things to offer for auction, and I hope you join me. Have a great one. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.